Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on part drawing holder. First, you need to click the link on the description part of part of the, this video. And then you will be here. Then if you are signing your account, you are going to click to make a copy. And you will have the part in your account. Now we can work on the drawings. So first I'm going to click the insert new element and I'm going to click create drawing and I'm going to choose uh, a millimeter. So make sure that you choose the millimeter. If you don't have the millimeter here, you can click the uh, drawing templates and you can find from here and then click OK. Now the insert view is automatically activated. So I'm going to click the part one and the scale is one to five. So I'm gonna first put the front view and the projected view is automatically activated. So I'm gonna just move the cursor, the mouse side. And then I'm gonna click the front view and I'm gonna move my cursor up. So now I have the top front right view. So I'm gonna left click on the front view again. And I will have Isometric view. Next, um, I'm going to show you how to change the, the the sheet size. So to be able to do that, you're going to click the escape button first and then right click. So this is not enough for us. So therefore, we're going to change it. We're going to click the sheet, sheet properties. And then we're going to change the A to B. And then the scale will be one to four. And then I'm going to click the green check mark. And then I'm going to just move them around. So we're going to just clean the area. Let me move one of them. The others will be ready. Okay. So the others also move together. Okay. Next, we are going to use center mark and I'm going to put the center of to each hole here. Next, I'm going to use detail view. So I'm going to click the detail view and I'm going to click the center of here. Then I'm going to just move them based on here. Next, I'm going to use section view. So I'm going to choose, click the, this section view tool. And then make sure it is clicked on the center line. So make sure it's pointing the other side. That's good. Now it's pointing the correct direction. Just wait a little bit and then just move your cursor to side. And then I'm going to click escape. Now just let's move them a little bit up. So everything is going to be more clear now. Okay, it's more clear now. Next, we are going to now use the dimension tool and we're going to put the, all the dimensions. So I'm going to click the dimension tool. And top is here. 255, this part is 50, and the distance from here to zoom, zoom, here. One hundred seventeen. Okay. Next, we are going to click the dimension tool, the arrow here pointing down, and I'm going to choose the chamfer dimension. And then I'm going to just choose this line and choose this one. And it will give me the chamfer dimension. Okay, this one is completed. Next, I'm going to use 
whole colot and then I'm gonna choose the the hole here and then I left click here and then when you move your cursor on the data point one so this part is gonna be automatically activated for you and here we're gonna write it down four times so I'm gonna click the X on the keyboard or you can try to choose from here but there was no x here so i'm gonna test why i just type it x here and then complete it so i'm gonna just click on the work area and four times 20 through you should have them here and then i'm gonna click the escape button as you can see um the part seems too close to edge of the uh, the drawing sheet so therefore I'm gonna just move them a little bit down and I'm gonna move them a little bit side just need to move them a little bit side so now it is a lot better now let's continue to work on the dimensions I'm gonna click the dimension tool Okay, dimension tool is here, but as you can see, it's on the chamfer dimension because I used the chamfer. So I'm going to click the here, and then I'm going to choose the dimension. Next distance from here, the top to the bottom will be 255. Distance from here to... It's hard to choose. Just zoom okay, here. Will be seventy five. Mm, okay, so this is not uh, this, and we just need to move our cursor here, and we should choose this symbol here because that's the diameter. So I'm going to choose this symbol. Perfect. And then I'm going to just click on the graphic area. So the 75. And the last one, so the dimension of the top part. Again, I'm going to just click. And then I'm going to move my cursor to here. Or you can double click on the 152. You will see here. And then I'm going to click insert symbol, this symbol. And then click on the drawing, the empty space, and you have the 152 here. Okay, it's almost done. Now I'm gonna use the center mark tool again. So put the cent uh, to choose the center of the, the circle. So I'm gonna click the center mark, and I'm gonna click the circle. So I have the. I just need to click on the edge. Now I have the center mark here. Next, I'm gonna use the dimension tool. Click the dimension tool. Distance from here to here will be 25. And the distance from here to here will be, again, 25. I'm gonna click the escape button. So instead of moving my cursor to point one, so I'm gonna just click escape tool. And you can just double click. The dimension and you can still have this part is open and then on the below the 25 just type it typ and then just click anywhere on the drawing file and then 25 double click and the below just type it typ and then i'm going to just click on the empty space okay we have the typ TYP means, uh, based on my research, that we have the four of them here. As you can see, the four hole. It means they are identical. So they have the like a same um, distance, 25, 25 from the top, 25 from the side. All are the same. Okay, we have the section view. We have the isometric view. We have the detail view. We have the all the dimensions. 
do we miss anything else? Okay. Um, the lastly, we're going to go to document menu. And then we're going to click the work, workspace properties. And then we're going to click the arrow here. And we're going to click one more time, part studio. And then we're going to click the part one. And then we are going to change the part one name to holder. And then we're going to click this save. Next, we are going to click update from this workspace. Finally, we are going to also put the title here the holder there is different way to do that but for me the easiest one so i'm going to just choose the top one delete the bottom one delete and i'm going to double click the middle and then i'm going to delete the dash line and i'm going to just write it down holder and then green check mark the zoom out let's see do we have everything else completed? So we have the title section with detail with all the top front right and the dimensions. We have them available, isometric view, and we change the name. Yes, this is how to complete part drawing holder. Have a wonderful day.